Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Allie. I'm a mom who loves DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. So today I want to share with you guys how to clean your IKEA slip cover couch. And it probably doesn't even have to be IKEA. This is just what I have. I have the IKEA Ektorp, and I believe it has been replaced with the Upland. Either way, it's kind of the traditional Pottery Barn style slip cover um, couch with the rounded arms and just the really traditional classic look. So to start, I start by removing the slip cover. So taking the cushions out of the covers and taking the slip cover off the body. I think a lot of people get overwhelmed with the idea of a light colored slip cover when it comes to having kids or dogs, um, but I think something to remember is that when it's a slip cover, you can, one, you can wash it, you can almost get anything out if you try. Worst case scenario, you can flip the cushion over and you won't notice if there's a stain that won't come out. But um, the other thing is with Ikea, you can always order a new slip cover for under $100 and that is good peace of mind. You can even order an extra one initially so that you can avoid that issue if it were to arise. The other thing I've seen people do is they actually buy a second slip cover to um, switch out in the season. So maybe they go with a darker one in the fall or the winter um, and then a lighter one in the summer and spring. Then I turn my washer to hot water um, because I think it gets stains out better and um, I put it in the laundry. I did two loads this time just to separate it so it doesn't get bunched. And then I also added this oxygen brightener which I will link below for you guys along with my drops laundry detergent. It's non-toxic and biodegradable. It is a zero waste detergent and we really love it. So I will link both of those things below in the description box for you guys. So I went ahead and put the slip cover into the laundry with um, the drops detergent and um, the oxygen brightener for a full cycle with hot water. And then I did throw it in the dryer for about 20 minutes. I want it to be damp still when I put it back on my couch because it keeps it from wrinkling. That's been a really good method for me is putting it back on when it's just a little damp still so that it doesn't create any wrinkles. So after I washed it and dried it just a little bit, I went ahead and put the um, body slip cover back on and then I put the cushions all back in their cases. One thing that I like to do when I wash the slip covers, I like to flip the pillows backward so that they um, kind of wear evenly. Maybe you notice with your couch that if the pillows are facing the same way for too long, they start to kind of get misshapen. So I like to flip them so that they wear the other way um, and it seems to work really well. So if there are any substantial stains, I would spot treat that for sure. But in general, I have really good success with just taking the cushions off, washing them in hot water with um, my detergent and my oxygen brightener. So I've been really happy with that method. So that is my method for cleaning my slip covered couch. I hope you found that helpful. And if you have a slip covered couch, I hope that you now feel inspired and in empowered to just go wash your slip cover. Um, I feel like it can be a daunting thing to do the first time, but you will get the hang of it and you'll see how easy it is. And it may just become like a monthly routine. If you haven't subscribed yet I would love if you would subscribe down below and hit the bell while you're at it so you get notified every time I post a new video. You can expect new videos just like this along the lines of DIY simple living and making a house into a home on a budget once a week every Friday. I'm so glad you watched this video. We will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.